I need to pull up this clip from Morning Combat, right? I think this is absolutely brilliant. But it's weird because I tried to find a clip on the actual YouTube, but I think it's been taken off. I think they might have deleted the clip, which is weird. So I've taken this clip from the Final Kids subreddit, but I think the actual original clip where it's been taken from might have been deleted from the live stream, which is bizarre to say the least. Right? Really, really bizarre. But let's see if I let, let's see if this is true. So, um, what I was going to talk about. There's a clip here from Morning Combat from the show that just happened just, I think, a couple of hours ago where they're obviously um, previewing UFC 281 and doing their usual thing, Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. Excellent show, Morning Combat. Flipping brilliant. Really good analysis. Really good fun uh, banter and stuff between both of the guys. And there's this segment on their show called DM for Donks where they get fans to submit questions in there, right? And can you guess what subreddit this guy that dm'd <laughs> that sent in a submission on flipping dm for dunks and morning combat is from can you guess what subreddit is from and can you guess some of the references and the funny thing is like i said i tried to find this clip in the original live stream video and i think it's been taken off i think so and also I th why i think so because when you do a live stream i don't know if you know if you do a live stream on youtube and obviously i got the chat running if you edit the video in any way um the live chat replay won't be available Either that or you turn it off, obviously, if you don't want the live chat replay. But usually people have the live chat replay there so you can watch it, you know, on demand, as DSP would say, after the fact and scan through the chat if you want to. But when I checked the chat next to this video, it wasn't available. So I think it's been edited out. I think Luke might have, you know, made an executive decision to, you know, he knows where his bread's buttered. He knows that Brendan kind of helped him get this Showtime gig. So he doesn't want to, you know, um, piss off the boss, the kind of boss. So, But this is funny. And guess where this flipping um, caller is from? What subreddit community he might be representing? This is flipping brilliant. And uh, Two Changs is our final entry into this, Luke. Let's hear from him. What? No, he can't park his truck over there. We've told him that multiple times. He's too blind. Oh, are you oh, doing bits hey there, and skits? Guys. How's it going, CEO? Luke, how you doing? Um, <laughs> just wanted to ask, you know, if DMs from Docs. So... When Josh Thompson isn't listening to Sum 41 and yelling into the void. I'll need to start promoting the promotion I work for because I'm not good at my job. You know, does he have a point? Is it y'all's fault you're not promoting Bellator better? Um, also, do you think PFL in their smart cage, because it is pretty impressive. I suggest deafness is always a good approach to law <laughs> enforcement officers. You shut up. That cage is so fucking smart, bro! Has overtaken Bellator as the number two <laughs> MMA promotion in America. Cheers! Uh, wow, that was there was there was some inside some, baseball some, some going on there. Yeah. Going on. Some wow. some going on. Cheers! He called him chit. Honestly, that legitimately might be one of the best fan submissions I've ever seen in my entire life. Honestly, the start is even the greatest. Look at this. Look at the start. This is absolutely brilliant. What? No, he can't park his truck over there. We've told him that multiple times. He's too blind. Oh, are you oh, doing bits hey there, and skits? How's it going, CEO? Luke? How you doing? He called him Luke. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> honestly big up this flipping legend big up this uh big up this <laughs> big up this pf chang's general honestly man you deserve all the props man whoever you are big up you two changs i guess maybe his name there on the top left absolutely incredible performance absolutely incredible the ceo luke the chairs <laughs> honestly man absolutely brilliant but yeah oh i thought i'd end it on that because i thought that was absolutely brilliant and maybe was another reminder as to why we maybe have to share the ceo responsibilities between eri hawani and brian campbell because they're both absolutely relentless they're absolutely brilliant at what they do and they keep the fire they keep the fire burning they keep the pressure consistent and they just have some fun man it's not even that serious really it's obviously nice and funny to laugh at these people but in general it is just a bit of fun they're meant to be professional comics they should be able to laugh at themselves and be a little bit self-deprecating and whatnot but you know when it comes especially comes to someone like brian brendan he's extremely thin-skinned so that's not going to be a possibility but i thought in general that was always fun and always amazing anyway but yeah 